When carrying out any painting or repainting process in the industrial field, one of the most important aspects for professionals to consider is the choice of the paint coating equipment. Choosing one type of equipment or another will depend on several factors such as size, material or surface, quality of the finish you want to obtain or budget, among many others. This is why it is important to know all the options and tools available, so as to maximise the quality and durability of the coating. In this video, we will talk about the characteristics of each coating equipment, and which type of work they are more suitable for. To do this, we will classify the different equipment as those that use air to spray the paint, and those that do not. Airless equipment are painting machines that do not need compressed air to spray the paint effectively contrary to what happens with airbrush equipment or mixed equipment. Air is not mixed with the paint at any time during the application process. Airless systems use pressure from a pneumatic pump or an electric pump that compresses the paint as it passes through a small hole. The opening angle of the gun nozzle will determine the size of the fan pattern, and the diameter of the nozzle hole will influence the flow rate of the product to be applied. In these systems it is very important to establish the compression ratio depending on the part to paint and the nozzle chosen. So as to regulate the pump pressure and thus the final working pressure. If the pressure is inappropriate, the paint fan might have coating defects. Airless equipment allows applying different types of materials such as paint, clear coats, primers, adhesives, etc. One of the main advantages of this application system is that it allows a reduction in spraying, also known as paint mist. As air is not used during the application, the paint particles do not fragment as much with, for example, mixed or airbrush systems, and less material is wasted during the application due to the rebound effect. This system is ideal for painting large surfaces, such as metal structures, silos or facades. It has a great transfer and high flow rate of product, which allows working at a high application speed, and moreover, with high viscosity products. However, it should be noted that the quality of finish is not equal to that obtained by other types of application equipment. The maintenance and cleaning of airless equipment, and, in general, equipment that uses paint pumps, is more complex than that of other simpler painting equipment, such as spray guns. A good practice to check the equipment is clean will be to verify that the solvent used in the cleaning process comes out clean and without paint residues, both through the purge and through the gun. This group is made up of spray guns that work with compressed air. This type of equipment is the most widely used in various industrial sectors and body and paint shops. This is mainly due to its simplicity, versatility, greater power of regulation and obtaining better finishes. The purified compressed air arrives inside the gun at a regulated pressure that usually ranges from 1 to 4 bar and circulates through its specific ducts until it reaches the nozzle, where it is expelled to break the paint jet. Airbrush equipment is characterised by its lightness and greater capacity of regulation. They are also easier to clean compared to other application equipment. They allow obtaining an optimal finishing quality and evenness of application, making it easier to work with medium-low viscosity and fixotrophy paints. We differentiate between gravity, suction and pressure operated spray guns. Gravity spray guns are distinguished by having a tank on the top where the paint is located. The paint is absorbed by the Venturi effect and is also aided by gravity. It is the most used type of spray gun due to its better use of the product. On the other hand, we find the suction spray guns, which incorporate a tank at the bottom of the gun. This way the paint is absorbed through the Venturi effect working exclusively by suction. This type of gun is becoming increasingly obsolete in favour of gravity guns. Finally, we wish to highlight the pressure spray guns, which are fed either by a spray pump with a low compression ratio, such as 1 to 1, or by a pressure pot. This type of equipment is mainly used to paint large surfaces, where there is a high paint consumption, to prevent having to continually be refilling the gun tank. Mixed equipment, also known as air mix equipment, attempts to combine the speed of airless spraying with the high quality finish of a spray system. They spray the product reducing and controlling the application mist. The pressurised product to be applied comes from the pump to the gun through a hose. The assist air enters through the gun handle to reach the air cap and regulate the spray. 
This type of equipment allows obtaining a medium high quality finish without reaching the level of airbrush equipment, but on the other hand, they provide a faster painting speed. Applying liquid paint with an electrostatic machine is an alternative method to consider when carrying out certain painting processes in the industrial sector. We can consider it as a complementary option to the airbrush on mixed systems, and its use will be conditioned, above all, by the application process and type of part. Electrostatic spray painting is based on the principle that objects with opposite charges attract each other. Applying this principle, the loaded paint particles leave the paint gun and are attracted to the object, which is connected to earth. One of its main advantages is that it can cover recesses that are difficult to access, achieving an enveloping effect on the whole part and a great even coating on geometrically complex parts, such as tubes or pipes. As we have seen, there are different paint application systems and equipment as professionals, we must know the operation, characteristics and advantages of each one in order for the painting process to be as productive and profitable as possible.